And it made me want to ask the question. We started off uh, the show a little earlier, Brian. You know him as WBAL radio host C4, the C4 standing for Clarence Mitchell IV. And you've probably heard of the Mitchell Courthouse downtown. It was named for C4's grandfather, the first courthouse in America named after an African-American. But you may not know why. Clarence Mitchell Jr. was a national civil rights figure. He was chief lobbyist of the national NAACP. He was also the Washington director of the NAACP in Washington, D.C. He worked quietly but effectively behind the scenes in Washington, lobbying for groundbreaking legislation like the 1964 Public Accommodations Act, the 1965 Voting Rights Act, and the 1968 Housing Bill. My grandfather was affectionately known as the 101st Senator. As a matter of fact, United States Senator Howard Baker, a Republican on the floor of the Senate, actually named him that because of his influence as a lobbyist. C4 will never forget one particular interaction in 1978 with his grandfather at the Capitol. I'll never forget it. There was one encounter with a young senator from Delaware named Joe Biden who walked up to my grandfather and they were talking and he said, young man talking to me, he said, I want you to know something, I carry this with me, it's a copy of the Constitution. He said, because your grandfather told me he always carried a copy of the Constitution to remind the racist that were there that the Constitution protects me as well as it protects you. And that's the reason today I still carry a Constitution, Mindy, is that story with uh, now President Joe Biden. But long before his time as a lobbyist, Clarence Mitchell Jr. was a reporter for the Afro-American newspaper in Baltimore. He actually reported on the very last lynching in Maryland. Uh, it, was, it was on the eastern shore of the last lynching that actually occurred in uh, Maryland. While a young reporter, he began dating Juanita Jackson, daughter of Dr. Lily Mae Jackson, who was president of the local NAACP. His future mother-in-law sparked a fire in him, and he dove headfirst into the fight for civil rights. Meanwhile, his wife Juanita blazed her own path. The first African-American woman lawyer in the state of Maryland. Another Mitchell first, Clarence Jr.'s younger brother Perrin, became the first African-American representative from Maryland. The legacy of public service continued through to the current generation. He for Mitchell Jr. is a former city councilman and state delegate, now senior advisor to Republican Governor Larry Hogan's administration, and WBAL's own C4, a former state senator turned talk show host. It's something that gets passed down, you know, generation to generation about the contributions that help me stand here and talk with you and, and be able to have a radio show and be able to do the things that I'm able to do. So I'm standing on the shoulders of those who did all of that. Mindy Becerra, WBAL-TV 11 News.